factor of in common. Uh, Everyone gets pissed off when we stop working. I need a new job. Office still there? Somehow. As long as the trains are running, it'll be work as usual tomorrow. Are you sure you haven't seen my husband? If I did, I don't remember. How are people here taking the news? It's got a lot of them worried. But not enough to stop them from partying, I guess. Don't they realize what's happened? Unbelievable. You see the huge explosion on TV? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Uh... <sighs> I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? No way! I'd kill for one right now. What are we even doing here? No one in their right mind would go into a train graveyard at night. People talk, rumors spread, and kids get curious. You know how it is. Speaking of which, you hear it was supposedly a ghost, not a monster, that attacked that guy this afternoon? They must have been seeing things. Talk about weird stuff going down. The reactor bombing, the train graveyard getting closed off. What? The graveyard's closed? One of the locals was attacked by some kind of monster, so the watch told people to keep out. I'm going on a ghost hunt. Come on out, ghosts! Of course no one's here to pick me up. It's got a lot of worried. Why would they be? Why did my office have to burn down? I realize what's happening. I am so screwed. Never been so happy to be home. Well, I'll have you know, I was worried sick. You had me <sighs> worried, you jerk! We thought you were dead! Just seeing your faces. Are you crying? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Office still there? Somehow. As long as the trains are running, yeah. it'll be worth it. Sure. Baby girl. How about what? So, what do we and 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 the reactor have? Office still there? He's really tall. You'd have no trouble spotting him, even if he was in a crowd. Sorry, doesn't ring any bells. Please, you must have seen him. How are people here taking the news? It's got a lot of them worried, but not enough to stop them from worrying. You see that? Huge explosion on TV? <sighs> wow, am I hungry? Guess I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? No, sorry, the train graveyard's right closed now. off. Didn't you hear? There was a monster attack in the graveyard, so no one's allowed in. Talk about weird stuff going down. The reactor bombing, the train graveyard getting closed off. I'm going on a ghost hunt. Come on out, go! Train services have concluded for the day. We will provide an update on the schedule first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you for your patience. Emergency train services have now concluded. This was the final train of the day. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please have a safe journey home. Hey, people are trying to sleep here. Take a hike, buddy. Well, then you can fall in love with Fried Marsh all over again. And we're set for life. I don't know. Didn't you say the guy was from Walmart? You won't care where he's from once we're living topside. Yeah, I guess. Feels good to be back, man. Back down here? So, will you be having your usual Fried Marsh, sir? You bet I will. Which is enough fried marsh? A handful or hear me out. 
A whole heap? I wish I could tell you, but sadly, I don't share your passion for processed foods. So, will you be having your usual fried mushrooms? Oh, some outsiders came down too. Just got asked about lodgings. You mentioned the place by the Watch's HQ? That's the safest, if you ask me. Eh? They had this one drink in Wall Market. It tasted like the nectar of the gods. <laughs> we ain't got shit like that here. How about one that tastes like their piss? I am three sheets to the wind. See if I can't get rid of a few of these memories. Funny, you said the same thing last night. They had this no. one drink in Wall Market. It tasted like the nectar of the gods. <laughs> we ain't got shit like that. The bartender here, here about can one take one look like at you and know exactly what you want. That's so loud. Can we even trust the hotels around here? I bet their mattresses are crawling with bugs. I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching the news this whole time. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. I want to know if they've caught anyone. Oh, he's pulling some OT when it happened. Want to know what I was thinking the whole time I was evacuating? You got me. I survived this. <laughs> I'm getting my drink on at 7th Heaven. All right, sounds like a plan. I'm free tomorrow, so let's do it. So the Mako reactor's broken? For now. But don't you worry. We're gonna fix it. It'll be up and running in no time. Really? That's great! Sure is, sweetie. One slow slider with extra black milli, please. How about some soup with them? A warm bowl of soup does a tiny body. Sounds great. I put him in charge of my stand. I told him, son, the goal isn't to make a fortune. It's to make people happy. Someone's having a bad day. It's your job to put a smile on their face. Well, by the looks of things, I'd say he took that lesson to heart. Oh. Oh. Some guys on the train were saying stuff about Shinra, criticizing the good work we do. Ingrates! I hope you were able to talk some sense into them. Yeah, of course. They were blubbering like babies by the time I was through with them. Well done, dear. Some guys on the train were saying stuff about Shinra, criticizing me. I think he's over by the TVs. He's been watching. Oh, no words can describe how bright the flames were. What kind of person bombs a reactor? The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Apparently Shinra thinks it's a group called Avalanche. That's what I heard on the train, anyway. Avalanche. That sounds familiar. The kind of person who goes around putting up flyers all over the slums, I expect. Dumb plate he's only had it so good because of the reactors. And this bombing's changed all that. Yeah, well, shoe's on the other foot now. Let's see how they like fighting to survive. They're people too, you know. Huh? <sighs> I've never seen anything like it before. It was completely insane. Security was out in full force looking for the bombers. I even saw a few helicopters. Wow, that sounds intense. Huh? It was like a giant candle lighting up the whole sky. All that debris piled up like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Hmm? Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> Okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Uh -huh. 
hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Ha! <laughs> You're such a kidder. Sounds like an accident to me. But then what about the children? We can't have them living near exploding reactors. Midgar's in trouble, that's for sure. Is there anything we can do to fix this? Who knows? Isn't it bedtime? Why is everyone outside? It sounds like an accident to me. But then what about the children? We can't have them living near exploding reactors. Wait, this is real? Doctors it's not a movie? How long is it going to keep burning? If you are unable to reach the building on your own, please contact the nearest Shinra employee for assistance. Mayor Domino, in conjunction with President Shinra, has declared oh, a state no. of emergency in this Glad I got today off. Uh, am I still going to have a job? Guess I'll find out. Did everyone get out in time? In as yet, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. If you have any information pertaining to what the identity the? of the perpetrators, That's where I work. please contact no your No freaking way! Put that fire out, idiots! I was there yesterday. Once again, relief supplies are currently being distributed in the lobby of the Shinra building. Doctors are also stationed at the building's disaster relief center. If you are unable to... What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop so I can look after my parents, you know? <laughs> well, a man can always dream, can he? I want a drink with tea for so bad. Who wouldn't? She's a looker. A bombshell, even. What if I use her meathead friends to get to her? Yeah. He'd smash her face in if he ever found out. Anything better to talk about? Anyone hear about this? You know the expressway by the station in Sector 8? It collapsed during the explosion. No way. They sent in the military to help with the relief efforts, but it's supposedly not going very well, and even more stuff might collapse. Holy shit! I risked my neck to get this valuable information for you guys. So, that'll be free kill. Nothing's free, you know. This was his idea. They've got some nerve, that's for sure. They're awful carefree, considering a reactor just exploded. They've got some nerve, that's for sure. And this was his idea. <gasps> Arlene! <gasps> Daddy, you're home! That's right, Angel, I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh?
Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go give another professional killer eyes. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. 
The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra what tells them to. So, it, it wasn't that bad? Were safe. It was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. What are you doing? You've never even met this person. Wait a minute. That's Tifa's room. Don't be weird. Hey, Cloud, this way. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> Guess it's time for introductions. What? You gonna wake her up? Hey! You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get off me! What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. You know, Tifa's probably wondering why you haven't joined her yet. Is your face always that pale? You're not getting enough sleep. Come on, quit lollygagging and go to Seventh Heaven already. Surveillance. Oh, being a spy is so cool. Holding position until nightfall. We'll report any developments immediately if observed. That landlady, Marl, she's always looking out for the neighborhood girls. Shimmer can't afford to let such a horrible act of terrorism go unanswered. These disasters cost a lot of folks their livelihoods. Shinra needs to do something to show the people they're on their side. At the end of the day, it's just a company. They're not on anyone's side but their own. I was thinking I might chat up Marl myself. She knows a lot about life and love, and I sure could use some advice. If this struggle with Avalanche turns into a whole out war... I'm staying here to the bitter end. Not me. I'd go back home. Mako's nice and all, but life here isn't all sunshine and rainbows. What's gonna happen to Midgar? It was just one reactor, dear. Everything's gonna be fine. Not if Avalanche has anything to say about it. Shinra can't afford to let such a horrible act of terrorism go unanswered. This disaster's cost a lot of folks their livelihoods. Shinra needs to do something. So they blew up a reactor so they could save the planet? More like they want us to give up our way of life. There will be no way of life for anyone if we kill the planet. So the environmentalists say. But I say people and their jobs and their families have to come first. Otherwise, what's the point? If this struggle with 
Everyone I know said they felt a lot better after talking to Marl about their problems. Not me. I'd go back home. The Watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. How? Ain't they short-handed? Absolutely. But with the bombing and all, they're trying extra hard to recruit more people. Gotta admit, the watch is a lot more impressive than it was a couple of years back. Probably because of those vets who joined up after the ceasefire with Wu Tai. Maybe, but didn't a bunch of them eventually quit, saying they were done with all the fighting? Until they get Reactor 1 back up and running, the factory's gonna stay shut down. No way we can afford the rent on our place. I'll start looking for a new one. Back to living in a dump somewhere. Until they get Reactor 1 back up and running, the factory's gonna stay shut. Is that who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? Huh? Back to living in a dump somewhere. That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Oh. This here street behind me is Scrap Boulevard. It's crawling with monsters. The watch makes sure they don't get out. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. That sword's massive. What does he sell again? If there's anything you require, please do not hesitate to ask. I sense a, a sudden surge of emotion in my future. Trains don't start moving again. We're gonna have enough food and other goods to go around. Could get ugly. The watch is here to keep the peace. If anything happens, we'll step in immediately. Folks who are tops out of losing pay by the day. A lot of anger right now. We're doing our best to keep a lid on things. Increasing patrols and recruiting more. Gotta stay focused, even on break. It's the little noises that worry me. Even our facilities are starting to look a little run down, don't you think? Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. <laughs> Do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Um. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Someone looks like they're having a bad day. Try getting more sleep. That's the best cure all down here. Hold on. Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool, are you? Someone looks like they're having a bad day. Try getting more sleep. That's the best cure-all down here. You got this. You got this. Do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. Even our facilities are starting to run down. Not alone, you won't. Don't try anything funny or you'll get it. The kids seem to think you're pretty cool. That's where the watch guy Biggs lives, right? Heard he's like a major neat freak. 
If only he'd clean my place. If we can't get food and supplies from the plate anymore... Oh. I swear, all the plate side jobs are one-off gigs. No matter how hard I work, I've still got to hustle non-stop. One-off or not, the pay's still dog shit, though. If they know you're from down here, they're gonna try to screw you over regardless. Next item on the Friends of Freshness agenda? The ongoing sewage problem. Can we expect Shinra to perform any maintenance? Sewer system below the slums is essentially a maze of giant rusts and pipes. Any sort of maintenance would be a massive undertaking. Thought I'd become a junior coming to Midgar and working my ass off. I might not be rich, but I do enjoy life here more than I did back in Juno. The bombing will likely impact us here more than people think. I swear, all the plate side jobs are one-off gigs. No matter how hard I work, I've still got to hustle nonsense. Lots of girls who live here have the potential to become big, big stars. Nice. One day, I'll turn on the TV and see Jesse and all the others. It's gonna be great! I'm gonna have to save up for the wedding. How much do we need to buy a house on the plate? Livestream, right? What's a live stream? I'm not a sheep! Um, nobody's here! One, two, ready? One, two, shoot! One, two, shoot! Nah, you got lucky. Yes! Whoever loses more has to clean the other's room. Huh? I thought we weren't keeping score. I got you now! Soldier strike! Ugh. One, two, ready? One, two, shoot! One, two, shoot! Gotcha! Oh, man. <laughs> huh? I thought I we were keeping score! Soldier strike! One, two, ready? One, two, What's shoot! What's the source of all life? Mm -hmm. The life stream, right? What's a live stream? Hmm. I don't know. Huh? I thought we weren't keeping score. Nice young girl who lived next door ran off for the night. Probably with that punk boyfriend of hers. She even stuck a note on the door saying, Don't come looking for me. But didn't she send money back home on the regular? And then she gets into one of those flashy wall market carriages. What a waste. I still can't believe that nice young girl who lived next There's this one dude in the watch who's like a genius cat whisperer, I hear. Wish I could conversate with the little guys. There's this one dude in the watch who's like a genius cat whisperer, I hear. Wish I could conversate with the little guys. <laughs> oh, their cuteness moves me to tears. But their fur makes my nose run. But it's a small price to pay. Cat allergy, huh? Should probably keep your distance. It's just me, or there are more streets around here these days. Definitely more of them hassling me for food. There's this one dude in the watch who's... But didn't she send money back home on the regular? I'm not gonna let you sleep a wink tonight. Maybe her snoring keeps me up every night. I 
thinking I might join in one of those wall market games. Make us a fortune. <laughs> Don't. You'll get yourself killed. But I try and baby anything for you. Not gonna let you sleep a wink tonight. <laughs> Your snoring keeps me up every night. Huh? You want a piece of me? Oh. Think we could get some money if we strip this thing for parts? Looks damn near rusted through to me. I'm game as long as it buys us around. Huh? Personal space, man. Respect it. Have you ever tried saving money? Yeah. Have you ever heard the phrase living hand to mouth? Our daughter deserves to go to a good school topside. It's not that simple. Plus, there's no guarantee it'll help her get a high-paying job. Yeah, and I don't even like studying. Think we could get... Maybe we never should have moved after all. This town just seemed so full of opportunity when we first came. I don't know. I like it here. It's nice. Looks like I'm not the only one who got the day off today. Huh? Please give me a job. Hmm. Have you asked your parents? I don't have any. They were saying there's parts of sectors one and eight that still don't have power. Well, at least we know who to blame. If Avalanche did it, they had to have done it for the sake of the planet. Right? Known as Avalanche, the terrorists have a history of targeting Shinra facilities and employees. And they have declared themselves opposed to the company's agenda. So this is all Avalanche's fault? I still haven't put all the fires out. Apparently, the Sector 8 Expressway collapsed. As well as promised us that they would do everything in their power to restore peace and order to our fair city. Come on, give me a trial run. Do your worst. Fine then. Go search the scrap heaps and bring me back a hundred nails and a hundred screws. If I bring them all back, you'll give me a job? I'll think about it. Think about it? Lame. Maybe we never should have moved after all. This town I feel real sorry for all the people who can't get to work up top. Me too. I'd hate to have my pay doc for that. That's the worst. My wife's worried that if this goes on much longer, we're gonna have some tough decisions to make. Have you had more people than usual? Yeah, and they're all a bundle of nerves. You can thank the trains for that. Uh, you never know. The Sector 8 Pleiades might have to take refuge here. <laughs> if that happens, I'm not sure we'd all be able to get along. I feel really sorry. Well, my friend who moved up there said everyone was rude to her. If the planet's a living being, we should be learning more about it. Are you serious? What? You think it's all a hoax or something? If the planet's a living being, we should be learning more about it. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? or something? There are monsters on the plate too, right? Nope. That's not fair. <laughs> there are monsters on the plate too, right? Nope. Hey, the area around the old factory is off limits. If you want to poke around, you'll have to wait till the blockade's lifted. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. screwed me over something fierce. Hmm. Uh -huh. 
I've seen that poster. There's one just like it near my house. Unless you want public security at your door, I'd take it down. You're right, but they're not wrong. Conservation and the planet are important too. I don't know. Watch who you say that around. Huh. No? <laughs> if you think about it, the reactors have to be shut down for the planet to survive. And how do we survive after that? With a planet to live on, we'll manage. Ah. They found out who bombed the reactor. The newscaster said it was Avalanche. First they bombed the reactor, then they shut down the train. What'll they think of next? Sock the president right in the face? You joke, but... <sighs> if it's not Sector 8. I just want to go back up. Agreed. The stench here is unbearable. Still no trains? I can't sleep for another night on that moldy excuse for a bed. Ugh. Neither can I. I was coughing and sneezing the entire night. If you were gonna cut in line, think twice. The best drinks in town are right here. I've got just the thing. You'll never even know you had a nose. Huh? Eh? Eh? Anything that'll kill my sense of smell? The water in my apartment reeks of rotten eggs. I've got just the thing. You'll never this. even know you had a nose. Here made a name for themselves. Yeah, I heard they even attract foodies from up on the plate. Got anything that'll kill my sense of smell? The best drinks in town are right here. <laughs> Good idea. I wouldn't want to deal with the stigma of being from the slums either. My mattress is too hard. I can't sleep. I just need to forget today happened. We can pick up all parts and sell them. Just don't go. It's too scary. We'd never make enough to get by if we did that. Plus, the monsters we'd have to fight to get them are scarier than the plate. Hmm? The trains. I'm gonna run out of ingredients. I have a stockpile, but... Yeah, I'm not exactly swimming in supplies myself. I can't believe they stopped the trains like that. I, for one, am not surprised. The expressway did collapse in Sector 8. I can't imagine the station's much better. Yeah, but that's only one sector. Why shut down all the other trains? It doesn't make sense. You look like you got topside connections. How about hooking a guy up? Boy, I'd love to work on the plate. Think there'll be any emergency train service? That's a funny question to ask. Why do you think we're all here? I recommend that one there. It's all you need to transform any room to the lap of luxury. And it won't fall apart on me? Its owner Topside had it for 20 years. Sure, it's got some stains and some loose threads, but that just adds to the character. Oh. These beauties oh. just came in from the plate. What do you say? I just can't decide. Black Miller does not belong on a burger. I'm never gonna get used to that flavor. Wherever the hungry masses are, that's where I'll be. Some might have lost their faith in Mako energy, but I'll be damned if I let them lose their appetites. If anyone's lost their faith in anything, it's me thinking they'll ever settle down and stop working. Somebody's gotta be on standby for when the kid gets exhausted. And soon. How will I get to work? You owe us! I'm truly sorry, but all I can say is the whole of Shinra's railway division is working to rectify this issue. So 
there's no chance the Sector 5 train will come? Ooh. My superiors are aware of the issue. Cut the shit! I swear, I don't know anything more than you do. My apologies. Limp dick piss ant. This is not good. I have work. Why did it have to My husband was in Sector 8 when the bomber struck. And he still hasn't come back yet. I know it's scary, but he'll return once the trains start moving again. What if he's cheating on me with some topside slut right now? Okay, did not expect that. You better not dock my pay for this. Why in the world's our train stopped? Shinra better compass our lost time. Fat chance. Oof, I'm gonna get something to eat. I understand the Sector 1 and 8 trains being stopped, but 7? Even though it doesn't tilt as much as previous models, the 131 is both faster and more stable than the others. I can't believe it could take a curve like that at those speeds. Yeah, but I kind of like how the 102 rocks back and forth a little bit. Still, compared to the 97, the 131's Mako-based dampening system is a major improvement. With all that swaying, it must have been terrible for people to go topside. Oh, I really, really, really want to ride the 97 at least once in my life. You can only get that feeling with older absorbers. Too bad we'll never get the chance. We can always dream. Hmm? Hmm? <sighs> I'm gonna miss work if I wait much longer. Do you think the train graveyard really could be haunted? It'd be so cool if those rumors were true. People do say they've seen ghosts there. You have to come eventually, right? Uh, feels like it's been forever. I believe in you, little guy. Don't disappoint me, please. Do you think the train graveyard really could be haunted? At least one train will come. Emergency braking system a while ago, didn't they? They did. The deceleration rate's better than ever, supposedly. Haven't heard of anyone needing to use them. Yeah, but it'd be super cool, huh? Sparks flying everywhere like pew pew pew. Uh. The graveyard's off limits. Wouldn't want you to be attacked by monsters. Can't let you pass until our investigation's over. I assume you've heard about those people who went missing in the graveyard? The neighborhood watch is blaming it on monsters, but they're flat out wrong. It was ghosts. There are eyewitness accounts of ghosts abducting some of the victims. Really? Apparently I all assume of the trains you've heard about running. those people who went missing in the graveyard? The neighborhood I'm gonna hunt down those criminals and bring them to justice no matter what! It was ghosts. Why in the world's our train stopped? Shira better compass our lost mm. Why are all the train lines shut down? I thought only Sector 1 and 8 were hit. Shinra could be trying to limit the bombers' movements, make it harder for them to avoid the authorities. What? They're still at large? Hmm. Why are apparently not even the station attendants knowing the trains will start back up? Their guess is as good as ours. Well, I hope our deal with the Sector 8 office doesn't fall through. Well, worrying isn't gonna help. All we can do is wait patiently. I really needed those hours today. Now my paycheck's gonna be short this time around. Are you in debt? Might as well be. This was the last month my landlord was willing to wait on my rent. Thanks to Avalanche, I'm gonna get evicted. Why did it happen? Why are oh. all the train lines shut down? Are you in debt? Might as well be. This was the last month my landlord was willing to pay on my rent. Thanks to Avalanche, I want to get evicted. I do, but... But what? Uh, but... No, guy, don't I can't scared. believe they what? stopped the trains like that. You look like you got topside connection. Mm -hmm. 
They found out who bombed the reactor. If you think about it, oh. I've seen that poster. Hmm. If the planet's a living being, you never know. The sector. Our daughter deserves. Like you can't hide forever, Avalanche. My sister on the plate came down to visit me, and she looked like a completely different person. I wish I could live topside like her. Who's gonna ride her? A husky guy and a lean guy. But it doesn't matter. All you need to know is they both give us a lot of business. My sister on the plate came down to visit me. And Those bikes are reserved for someone tonight. Someone important. So make sure it's in top condition. Got it? Y yes, sir. It's times like this that remind you how inconvenient life is down here. Man, if I could only live topside. That's never gonna happen on my salary, though. Don't say that. I know where you're coming from, but it's about more than our personal comfort. Shinra enriches everyone's lives with Mako energy. You should focus on all the good you're doing for the world. I know, you're right, but... That said, the higher I climb, the more zeros you two are gonna see in your paychecks. Now that's what I'm talking about. Looking forward to it. You were right, boss. It was those avalanche terrorists that bombed the reactor. We won't let them beat us. Not ever! Right! Once the trains are running, we'll head to the office and do whatever we can to help. That's how we can fight back against terrorism. It's times like this that remind you how inconvenient life is down here. <laughs> Hello there. You must be that friend of Tifa's I've heard so much about. The mercenary? I've got fingers in a few pies myself. Worked with a lot of businesses. Even Seventh Heaven, on occasion. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you and me, we're not so different. And certainly not complete strangers. In fact, I want you to think of me as family. You know, an uncle or maybe a distant relative. Looking forward to it. Oh, but while I have you here, you wouldn't happen to be interested in grappling guns, would you? Great for getting up or down in a jiffy. I ordered some for a client, but I accidentally added a zero, and now I have a ton to spare. Was thinking of setting up an attraction where you jump from the top of the Shinra building. You know, for the adrenaline junkies. But the fellas at Shinra didn't think it was such a great idea. <laughs> hey, Merc, what's with the glum face? You know, you ought to meet my son, Johnny. He'll turn that frown upside down. He's got a big old heart and a real way with people. Can't help but cheer him up. Or maybe that's just how I see him, because he's my son. <laughs> Hello there. You must be that friend. I've got fingers. <laughs> In fact, I want you to think of me as family. Yeah. Johnny's not a bad guy, but he has a pretty big mouth that he doesn't know when to keep shut. Gotta love him for who he is. I know. Johnny's not a bad guy, but he has a pretty big mouth that he doesn't know when to keep shut. Don't rush it and drop your tools. Take your time now, okay? it and drop your tools. Take your time now. Okay. <sighs> Dancing's all I got these days. Woman of my dreams. I don't know how much I spent on her, but I'm telling you, she's worth all the ill and this. She sure sounds like it. I mean, hey, what's money good for if not to spend on a pretty face? You know what I'm saying? Shops on Culvert Street stock goods you won't find in more reputable establishments. Huh? Got the latest and greatest Shinra brand goods for you right here. Stuff nobody's even selling yet. Hey, <coughs> this look like a uh, bloodstain to you. Shit, that always there? Huh. 
Don't know how we missed it during the inspection. Better not make it a habit, or we'll lose out. I'll have a little chat with my man. Eh? Uh. The vacant lot up ahead is overrun with wild beasts. Best steer clear unless you're looking for trouble. Even if you are, be careful. Some folks use the lot for meetups. Seedy types who like their privacy and don't take kindly to interruptions. The vacant lot up ahead is over... Even if you are, be careful. Take a stroll down Colbert Street? Of course not. Full of thugs and creeps, isn't it? Nah, just some sketchy stores. Not the least bit curious? Um, I don't know if that's my thing. <laughs> you know, a lot of folks say the shops on Colbert Street sell stuff you can't find anywhere else. Like what? No idea, but I'm dying to find out. from Sectors 1 and 8 aren't nearly enough to keep us afloat. Let's see if we can cut a deal with one of the shops in Sector 3. If not, can always ask Shinra. They won't do us any favors. You ever take a... Bravest dog of all is there when you... The new Loveless musical was absolutely brilliant! So, was this different from the annual production? The finale's a touch different, but if you see it for yourself, you'll understand. If I can get a ticket, that is. A friend of mine's an aspiring actor. If you're interested in seeing Loveless, I could ask her to help get you a ticket. Are they expensive? You could probably afford a standing ticket in the Grand Circle. How it's about you and me get a rim to play pin the tail further on the chocobo. Is that like the new favorite pickup line down in Walmart? Who the hell knows? The book was absolutely brilliant. So was this different from the annual production? The finale's a touch different, but if you see it for yourself. Another day I can't work because I can't get plate side. I'm getting sick of this. Probably so crowded because everyone else is stuck down here. You talking about the creepy dude out of Walmart? You know him? Girl, your eyes are more dazzling than the neon lights of the Honeybee Inn. Guess I'll go check later. And the trains have started back up or not. Be real? Chili beans! Get your chili beans! A Sector 7 favorite! How about it? Y'all won't find better beans this side of the plate! Here's the drinking all day long. To thin and to buttery. Wife's probably gonna give me shit. Blame it on the bomb. Ain't your fault. me, or are there more cats hanging around that vacant lot lately? I think they're coming from the children's side. Hmm. Looking good. Quality product makes a huge difference. Just like that. Jump on that empty room at Stargazer Heights, but someone beat me to it. The watch is saying they're. Gonna... Was thinking I might chat up on my. What's gonna happen to Mika? My husband decided to go to the station and see if it had gotten any better. The bombings made such a mess of everything. 
imagine if rich people start thinking it's safer down here than on the plate? Enough of them move down here. Life's bound to change for the better, no? Keep dreaming, buddy. Another day. A friend of mine's People are counting on us. Everyone's worried they're gonna... You won't get the best of me! There's no better way to unwind after a hard day's work than a drink at 7th Heaven. Well, can we get one of those too? Not unless it's on the list. I want that one! No, it'll show dirt too easily. But it's not what the people on TV are wearing. You don't meet with the people on TV or wear if they're gonna get dirty again. It's like what they have here. Lux what you want, trust me. It's magic. Hides all the stains. Don't try anything. Wish I could dry my clothes and clean our air. Take a picture, why don't ya? Call us if you see trouble. Ain't no monsters here. You were supposed to be working in Sector 8 yesterday. You told me you had an interview in Sector 1. I can't believe you were on a date in Sector 4. Uh, you took a girl out to Wall Market on a birthday date. What's the big sword for? What's the big sword for? Still, I'm glad you're okay. I gotta admit, I was pretty worried about you too. But we gotta talk about the cheating. Damn right we do! It might be time to start stocking up. Keep it quiet if you do. We don't want trouble. Biggs is teaching me self-defense techniques. Is it just me, or are there more cats hanging around that vacant lot lately? I think they're coming from the children's room. So many people who just don't... I've chatted with that Barrett guy a few times. Looks like a real hard ass, but it's actually pretty chill. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. <sighs> Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place, and it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. As long as I get it all today. Take your time now. A friend of mine's an aspiring Chili beans. Here's this. All the items you could want straight from the plate. No matter your name. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to. Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look?
Nothing to tickle your fancy. If you change your mind, you know where I am. That goes for you too, Tifa. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. Take a look around if you want. All the items you can want. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. More than a little. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This is Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Oh, being a spy is so cool. Holding position until nightfall. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You'd better not cause Tifa any heartache. You'd have more color in your cheeks if you went to bed earlier. Don't you still have work to do? Well, go on then. Get back to it. You'd have more color in your cheeks if you went to bed earlier. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You Got been it, here a while now? Five years, give or take. A couple of years back. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barra be back with the rest? Before we open up tonight, it'll be a while yet, so what do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. 
It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you! Get on out of here! Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you! No better like way you. to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own! Come and check out our selection. I wonder. Speak with our if there's any way they can make find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. Do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Not alone, you won't. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, hey, Cloud. Um, Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha. What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <clears throat> All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But... You don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone.
Let me have a look at your sword when you get back, huh? Just so you know, the watch relies on residents' donations for funding. This isn't just a cover. We really do want to keep the neighborhood safe. We grew up here, after all. Just so you know, the watch relies on residents' donations for funding. You can go all over town, meet all kinds of people, and no one bats an eye. Won't be anyone who doesn't know about the new Merc when we're through. Working for the neighborhood watch is the best kind of cover. You can go all over town, meet all kinds of people, and no one bats Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. Is that who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. What does he slow again? Good luck, Tifa, and be careful! Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. in like it was nothing you too it's a little surprising well I've been here five years now if you don't look out for yourself no one else will by the way that one's gonna be on the test this a lesson gotta learn if you're gonna stick around okay let's wrap this up might be the last of them. He won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge.
doesn't look like a lurk. That sword's massive. What does he sell again? A merchant? I hear you sell so Pete, you just opened up a shop in here. Got new numbers for Monster Slain this month. Check them out. What? Everyone here so it. Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know. Could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. What? Everyone here so in awe of your skills. They That's the guy who ran the monsters off the boulevard. Just look at that sword of his. It's so big. Gotta stay focused. Got new numbers for Monster Slain this month. Check them out. I hear you sell swords. You might want to introduce yourself to the other merchants to get off on the right foot. You know how turf can be a touchy subject and all. Ah, oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, uh, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. You were the first to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. That went well. Could be you found your calling. Uh. Was all right, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? I'm expecting great things from you, my friend.
hear you sell swords. I want to introduce you. You're the aspiring odd jobber. Can I hire you to babysit my kids sometime? <sighs> Thought I'd become a millionaire coming to Midgard and working my ass off. Hey! Oh, hey there! Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kinda hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh yeah, and they're all cats. <sighs> I'm looking for cats? They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. Find my friends, please. They love crowded places, like the road to the station. A lot of people stop to play with them there. They'll also go wherever there's free food. Marlene says she always gives them some snacks when they go to 7th Heaven. I see a lot of cats hanging out near the beginner's hall, too. You know the place. Is the one with all the houses around it? They love crowded places, like the road to the station. What's the source of all that? Hey, if you're a hired hand, fix my house for me. It might be a good idea to talk about There's this one dude in the watch who's like a genius cat. Probably keep your distance. There's this one dude in the watch. But didn't oh. she send money? Thinking I might join it. Huh? Think we could get some money if we Did you hear that apart. just now? Looks I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. I'm game as long as it buys us around. Factory's off limits. If you want to poke around, you'll have there are to monsters on the plane. We could probably day. use this if we clean the rust off. Oh, this one too. I guess we hit the jackpot What's today. The Get out of there! I heard it was avalanche involved here. I've seen the <sighs> monster. If you think about it, we found out it's a bomb. You, my dear, deserve a top side. I don't even care if it's not I can't believe they stopped. Wherever the hungry mass is. I really need to get to the plate. This is not Do you think the train graveyard moved? How do you not know the graveyard's closed? I assume. Mark my words, Avalanche. I are all Something's wrong. Let's check it out. That John. What's he done this time? He needs to get his act together. What in the? Why Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Somebody like went that? and stole some blasting data from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not going to settle for just roughing him up this time. 
We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And... He's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. He needs to get his act together. He's got all the school puppets in here. Enough help, but you Let's get a closer look. Is there any way to treat a model citizen of Midgar? Model citizens don't steal blasting, Agent. So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You got it all wrong. I've never gone anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that... Is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the... Oh. 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 Hey! What do you think you're doing? Here we go. It's on you. I got this. Bring it! He's a talker. Huh? Whoa. Whoa! No! Huh? You're not gonna... Hold up! Wait! Don't... Don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. <clears throat> we need to go before they wake up. I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... 
Yeah, your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So, what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? Song I gave you, bro? Telling you, man, it's fire! Still rocking out to that song I gave you, bro? Suppose I could start looking for a part time game. Never ask folks about their suppliers. They don't take kindly to questions. Hello, hello! Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Seems a whole bunch of giant rats have been congregating in the vacant lot lately. Non-stop squeaking is driving me insane. one of my pastries and scurried in there. Will you be a dear and lend me a hand? This sucks. of chasing this little guy around. I've been seeing more and more cats around here lately. Missed out on my chance to live next door to T. I hear you sell swords. I want to introduce yourself. Got new numbers for Monsters Flame this month. So they blew up a reactor. My husband decided to go. Does anyone really need to hire a cat? Hey there, Tifa. Welcome back. And you, the new merc in town looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were-rat buddies have been tearing up town, looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were-rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. Kill the were-rats and their buddies ought to show. So you'd best make sure you're ready for round two. All the items you could want, straight from the plate. That's the Do it. All set. to it. Finally managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. It was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, well, what do you say? I'll make it worth your while, of course. Give you some incentive. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers and anybody else who listen. You'll be swimming in work before you know it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then. That's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven, the new Merkin town in my little store. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up. Thanks to the awesome new Merkin town, everyone's favorite item shop is better than ever. Don't be a stranger. Drop on by your neighborhood item shop and check out our new expanded lineup. Thanks. Keeping your nose to the grindstone, huh? I've got just the thing for a go-getter like you. Don't worry, I told Weimer all about you. Something to say? Like a childhood friend left. I swear all the plate side jobs are one of lots of They'll also go wherever there's free food. Marlene says she always gives them some snacks when they go to Seventh Heaven. What's the source of all Best of luck to you, kid. Personal space, man. Have you ever stuck to see? Maybe we never should have. So this is all that. Well, who's gonna ride him? Steve has got a knack for serving this perfect drink. Something hard, but he ain't interested. Which is better? Take 
Take a picture, why don't you? Hey, Tifa, baby. See you at the bar later. Got the childhood friends in my town. Hey, if you're a hired hand, fix my house for me. You got something to say? I wish you luck in your endeavors. There's this one dude in the watch. Uh, it's just me or the mysteries. Oh, there, there's this one dude in the watch. I still can't believe this nice young girl. Thinking I might join in. I think we could get If the planet's a living Hey, the area around Step back. The factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Reports said the drakes looked like they were nesting. Need you to clear them out before they breed. Reports said the drakes looked like they were nesting. Need you Reports to clear said them out the drakes looked like they were nesting. Need you to clear them out before they breed. Just like that, okay? I got gotcha. you. Won't be tough.
Up a good sweat. up tight. Thank you. 
nothing. Compared to us, at least. All right. That's that. Come on. After you. is there. Give them hell. The factory's open. There are monsters on the plate. Huh? I've seen that poster. Mm. Uh, if you think about it, mm -hmm. I found out it was bomb. I just need to forget today happened. Hey, you want to get pet down, Chat? I know you do. <laughs> Wherever the hungry masses are, that's the Think there'll be any emergency? I don't want trains to come. I want you here. I just need to forget today happened. They found out who bombed the reactor. If you think about it. suddenly told us that he was going to leave town. Oh, tell me it isn't true. He can't survive out there on his own. He's a headstrong boy, so once he puts his mind to something, he always follows through. For better or worse, I suppose. My son suddenly told us that he was going to leave town. Oh, tell me it isn't true. He can't survive out there on his My own. My boy up and declared he was leaving town to go on a journey. <laughs> we only live once. I say while he's young, he should follow his heart, even if it means defying the man. Playing by the rules only gets you so far. Oh, I, I don't think I've had a chance to introduce myself yet. I'm Johnny's father. I'm sure you're terribly worried about him too, aren't you, Tifa? <laughs> That's my boy. I'll have to remember to tell him that when he finally comes back home. My boy up and declared he was leaving town? <laughs> We only live once. Even if it means defying the man. Playing by the rules only gives you something. I know. Glad we no longer have a Wait. rat problem. Did you hear that just now? I think one of Betty's cats might be nearby. He said he was leaving town. What's that meant to Yes. Enjoy yourself. <gasps> That was definitely a cat. I wonder if it's one of Betty's. Looks like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. I knew he was posted in Reactor One. Screw this. Tifa, don't take your eyes off. The 
course not. Hey, this looks like the... those disgusting. Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did you? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... No, I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. May not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? Welcome! I'm always getting in new stuff to keep up with the latest trends. You won't be disappointed. Always a pleasure. Oh, you look into that other gig yet? If you're planning to, might want to buy some extra supplies first. Another job for you, Merck. Good luck with the new business. I've been told the suits. Lots of girls who live here have the potential to become big, big stars. One day I'll turn on the TV. And what? And all the they ran away? So I'm never gonna see them again? You guys! You came back! They said that a scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you. I'll bet a lot of people are talking about you right now. There's this amazing merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. Oh, so you want more of a challenge, huh? be able to find them all. They like you, mister. Come back and play with us anytime. I'll have to give them treats later. I knew you'd be able to find them all. What's the source of Jurisdiction. Show some spine! Y yes sir! Ma'am, if you don't leave at once, I will be forced to arrest you! Oh yeah? Go ahead! <sighs> Tifa, you won't believe this! A Cerulean Drake flew in from the train graveyard, but these two clowns refused to get off their butts and do anything about it! Hey, is that... It is you, the new Merc. Then maybe you can help us out. The Drake is in the old Telegraph factory over there. But to reach it, you'll need to get a hold of a watch security key. You should be able to find one inside one of the crates. I forget which, just smash them all. There ought to be a key stashed inside one of the million crates in there. Keep smashing them until you find what you're looking for. To reach the Drake, you'll need to get past a locked door in the factory. So long as you can track down one of our security keys, access shouldn't be a problem. To reach the Drake, you'll need to get past a locked Pest door- Pest control is not our responsibility, so stop asking! My duty is to protect Shinra's interests, and that is all. Move along, citizen! Pest control is not our responsibility, so stop asking! This really isn't a good time! What was that? Do your job! Y yes sir! I'm on duty! Don't fraternize with civilians! Yeah, yes, sir. You will re respect my authority, or else I I'll give you what for. Uh, I'm on duty. Don't fraternize with civilian. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, Recently arrived. If it ain't the merc himself.
won't take long. No holding back. Worked up a good sweat. Seriously, get ready. Nothing to it. That the key? Yeah. Keep those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. And there he is! I knew you were the right man for the job. There's no denying you're the real deal. Not like these idiots with their excuses. Rather have one of you than 20 of them. They're just doing their jobs. Can't expect them to be at your beck and call. What exactly is it you're trying to say, Merc? You need people who can follow orders, too. I see now. Heard you were ex-Shinra. Guess I shouldn't be surprised you'd go to bat for your old buddies. Me? I'm just looking out for my people. All there is to it. Hell with you. We can take care of this town ourselves. No more Mercs or Shinra. We'll build up the watch and kick you all out.
We don't want your so-called protection. We'll take care of ourselves. But we're only here to... Recruit! Yes, sir! <laughs> Leave now, otherwise I will be forced to arrest you! Come on then, tough guy, do it! We don't want your so-called protection. But we're only here to... Recruit! Yes, sir! Come on then, tough guy, do it! You're a real one-man army. If the planet's a little... The way Gwen talks about you? You never know. Maybe we never should. They were saying there's hard to... Those bikes are reserved for... Oh, oh, what's going on? Johnny, what's going on? You can't do it. What's the part of you? Don't take your eyes off me. Oh, hey. Thanks for helping Thanks out. Thanks to the office. office. Apparently it was done by a... What's gonna happen to me? Everyone I know said they felt a lot better. Are you ready, ready for more, son? Kind of like an a certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight, you've got a real killer on the loose, you see. A rabid catch dog. Maybe you've heard people talking about it. Shinra mug gone feral. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud. The catch dog was last seen in Scrap Boulevard. But if it wanders into town, a lot of people could get hurt. This is no ordinary dog, my friend. Damn thing's already put a few of the watch out of commission. What idiot let that ugly mutt loose in the first place? The catch dog was last seen in Scrap Boulevard. But if it wanders into town, a lot of people... Is there anyone who can chase off that some rusty dog is probably the boulevard? Tell me you're pretty strong. Stay alert now!
I see you. Let's do this. Take him down. Let's finish. No surprises there. Care of the dog, did you? Phew, we owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab hidden right beneath our feet under the slums. Huh. Really? That's news to me. <laughs> and here I thought you might know something I don't. Well, I guess not. It's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. Okay then. That's another solid gig in the books. You know, the whole town is really impressed with what you've done. Keep it up, and you'll have enough work to keep you fed for a lifetime. All well, thanks to you. And don't you forget it. So where do we get paid? The shop or something? Yeah, but why don't we head back to the apartments first? Take a quick breather. Which lesson was that again? Lesson one. Got it? Anyway, let's go. I still can't believe how badly that mutt hurt our guys. We're getting soft. Might need a new training regimen. Can't thank you enough for everything you've done lately. I didn't tell you this, but you've inspired some of our people to hit the training room, believe it or not. Well, I sure do hope we can count on your assistance in the future, Cloud. A new breed of attack dog, huh? That's something you see every day. Around here, at least. I'll make sure everyone knows just how much you've done for us. Someone's back awful early. Not that I mind. Would you two be dears and swap your filters out for me? I left them in your rooms. Sure thing. Not so fast, you. Do me a favor. She needs a friend. A real friend. Uh, we're already friends. So when she talks, are you really listening? Thinking about her and her feelings? Or are you just going through the motions? Go on. Let's take care of this real quick, okay? Sure. Come over when you're done.
One sec. I'll be done in a bit. Ah, <sighs> finally. So, after you left the village, hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something refined. Yeah, I guess we're not kids anymore. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we headed back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. the filters so we're gonna head back to the bar now take care you two oh you're looking pretty chipper uh i don't feel that different must be my imagination then <laughs> anyway keep your wits about you merc a token of my appreciation be good to her you'll get no second chances from me Swing by any time if you want advice, or just to talk, even. People need more than empty words. They need to know you're there for them, and you'll still be there for them when things get tough. That knowledge alone can give a woman wings. You'll get no second chances from me. <laughs> <laughs> 